<laughs> Let's start a riot. Oh, there it goes. It's gone. Hey guys, today we're playing Before Your Eyes, which I have a, a webcam set up for, because apparently that's a core mechanic, is it's going to try to track my eyes. And it comes heavily recommended. And I'm slightly suspicious that I haven't heard a single sound yet. Okay, here we go. <laughs> a little worried. On-screen webcam. Nope. Well, that's important because it helps me tell you that you're not even looking at the right webcam. Maximum graphics, subtitles, English. There we go. Limited subtitles. Use I. Oh! I get it, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, this is unusual, but I think I want to choose not to have subtitles because it's going to track my eyes and I'll keep looking at the subtitles too much. And that's going to fuck with the whole thing, isn't it? So we're going to have to do, I think we're going to have to do no subtitles this time because it, they perhaps for the first time ever it actively potentially obstructs the thing we're doing. Okay, let's go into this. Let's see how it goes. Alright, let's hope that the blink detection is completely flawless after calibration and doesn't actively interfere in the way that almost every special <laughs> gimmick control system usually backfires in some way. Open for the best, though. This is a game about blinking. See, every time you blink, the game will notice. See how this works? Oh, because I blinked. Try blinking on the white symbol. Hello. Ah! It's like reflexive at the time. Ah! I don't want to keep blinking, it's scary. And my eyes just- ah, uh, my eyes sting a little bit though, from not thinking about it. I- Okay, I'm not blinking though. Ah, fuck. Okay, I've recalibrated again, but now it might be calibrated to be harder to blink than it should be, I don't know. But if I like slightly- before if I slightly moved my head, it would think I was blinking. That's mine! Sir? Well, hello there, stranger. Ooh, you're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with, or hands to shake with, or nose to look down with. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you. If that makes any sense. So, if you understand what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. Directional blinking. I wonder if they intentionally blinking, don't you? <laughs> hope to have <laughs> that like thing you did thirty thousand times a day. Don't make me self-conscious about it. We do it already. It. My arm's getting tired. Ooh, well look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there, lost in the waves? I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch, or what's a better word? A notion? A better word than that. Ah! A premonition. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. You see that tower out there? Big scary one? That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. To be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life from proud to stern. Now if she's impressed, I get paid the Bitcoin and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't, 
I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you. Well. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that, because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> no, shut up, you trash birds. You had your chances. It wasn't my fault you were no good. Lay about. Unsatisfactory. Clock watchers. Are they what happened to everyone you failed? Wait, are you- I thought you were a cat. Are you a dog? I asked that- oh, you're all squish-faced. Why do I feel like I've been tricked into going back to Kentucky Route Zero? This is a bad place to be- oh! So I can... sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I want to see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So, just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember. I'm going to send you there. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not going to be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Oh no. Alrighty I, then. <laughs> I hope he's ready for this. I got dry now, eyes. The next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. Now don't be afraid. And don't uh, try to... Wait, I didn't and blink. Try to enjoy it this time. I didn't blink though. You just oh. This it's gonna be spotty. I kept it kept detecting extra dete things, and I kept telling you like, now nah, you're detecting extra, and it kept adjusting the calibration, like lower and lower sensitivity, and it's still detecting blinks that aren't happening. I guess because of my glasses or something. I'm not buying contacts for the first time in like 12 years just for one video game though, so I don't know. This <laughs> this, this playthrough might be a mess if it keeps doing that, but also like I I. The more I try not to blink, the more I'm blinking anyway. Like, it's really fucking... Like, my eyes get dry, man. It's gonna be a problem. I don't know. Maybe this playthrough will be a train wreck. The, uh... Definitely immediately got the that feeling of like, Oh, is this gonna be one of those games that talks the entire time? All the time? So I'm like, when, when can I even commentate? So that's what I'm dealing with today. I bet they wanted to have more accurate eye detection originally. So that you'd actually look at the long, things. Beautiful day ahead of us. As opposed to using the mouse. Why are you smiling like that? You must really like it out here, huh? Well, I get. Ah, this is a. F Aesthetically kind of a nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> We're gonna go through our life chronologically. Let's go get you some seashells. What do you say? And every time I reflexively blink or the, it doesn't detect correctly or something, you I'm gonna see that big spiky plan over there? lose more of my own life. I'm probably somebody who's already dead, right? Right over there. That's called Nagave. Eleven years from now. That plant will die so it can give birth to this tall, amazing tree, covered in flowers. Yeah. The day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Oh no, it's just a game where you experience your life hey. vanishing before you. Go ahead, kid. This is like an anxiety experience. No. Nah. Mm. Oh, you want to play along with mommy, don't you? 
No. Hmm. I tried to open my eyes wider to like keep them open, and then it reflexively blinked anyway. <laughs> this is. Sounds good, honey. I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. It's a simulation of futility, because so you can't resist the time stream. I like the music. No matter what you do. That's very specific. No. Hmm. I'm gonna start developing a, developing a fear response to metronomes. What do you think he's thinking about? Probably solving the problems of the universe. So, do you think he's going to be smart? I don't see. No. Nope. No, They're not smart enough thing. to resist blinking. At least I didn't think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. No, I'm sorry. I I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this. I'm terrible at this. Okay, I understand. Selection committee for school? Thank you for considering my piece, John. It really means a lot. No, her piece. Are you an artist? Oh. Better than me. I'm sure a little Hopefully. Less color. Yeah. Are you gonna sell it as a gimmick thing online? Nope. Hey, we do not throw things in this house. You don't know me. I mean, you know me. You're my mom, but scrapbook. Hello. See, that used to be my piano. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Where are you? Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. Fled his own country. God, he made me practice so much. I hated it at first. Ah. Okay, Benny. Are you ready to see something really special? It's as if just, just to wear to down your attached. defenses, they then make you blink as a command each chapter, so you can't be like continually trying not to blink. Because you need to blink. Richard. What? Oh. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, what's wrong with that? We can't keep him, can we? I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? No. Aww. Well, he's looking healthier now. Poor guy looked so now sad. The C major chord I taught you. Remember? I don't need I don't need pianos. I got cat. I guess this is what a cat looks like, and the other guy's supposed to look like a dog or something. There you go. Is that? Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? Now what about C minor? You remember how to play that one? Very good! Just one note different. But that one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. <gasps> sort of like me and your little friend on your piano there. She just has a cold, right? I'm like conditioned for the idea that sad stuff's gonna happen. Like, oh no, it's her cancer. She was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. A mover's guide. They kept they kept the ad around. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes, you know. Which I very quickly lost. She go and date her professor? It's naughty. She dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. I instinctively linger and stretch games, and this one is like abridging itself against my will because of me. But. Graduating to the real piano. 
I'm growing too fast. I feel like I'm going to age to death over the course of an hour in this game. So enjoy that feeling. Wait, is that... That's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Richard, are you hearing this? What? There's no He's way this is... Piece. He must have figured it out by ear. I mean, I was a gifted kid, but he's brilliant. I'm just we playing. Need to get him into serious... That was definitely random notes. <laughs> what? No. Nope. Oh God, I have my interview in five minutes, and I completely forgot to feed him. Oh, they're gonna make me watch you die in like ten minutes. You're gonna live so little because you're a cat compared to me, and I presumably had like a whole life. I've got bad news for you, kitty. Who is already dead? I assume I'm already dead in the dog part, right? On the boat? That's probably like the afterlife or some shit. He's... Am I playing another River Stick story? Excuse me, of course, sir. Like my third it's one this year? Organized into folders, sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will oh, you're so big. Your desk when you get in. What could possibly happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? We are fine. Art. I'm doing an art. You're getting lanky. Oh. When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, Trying to figure draw, out. wake up, damn You're it. A working woman now. I guess that's true. Don't want to go to your head, but yeah. Please let the cat know. Let the cat know what? This is called a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. Oh no, you gave me this fear. You, this is you. Why'd you do this to you me? Know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. I don't think there is any fighting against time. I'm really trying right now. What about your children? Thinking... Work of genius, just as I was. Uh, she's talking about defying time, but the metronome's only ticking faster. He said, yes, No, I suppose if you made a work of genius, I could live on through that as well. Stop it. I haven't seen him in over 10 years. Can you believe that? I Is wonder he... if he'll even recognize me. Oh, I'm going to find out that he died at some point, aren't I? That's how it do. Mm -hmm. Phones never have good news in movies and games. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? I don't know how. Don't take me back to piano lessons. Subdivide the time. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and. I never got that good at piano, even. There you go, buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it, just like that. I was trash and kind of thought the instrument was annoying when I was a kid. <laughs> oh my. Like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L, so we can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Ooh. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first, but no, it's everywhere. Oh, the- no! <laughs> the cat escaped! So you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes okay, back, back with a huge belly? That's good. Uh, Ernie's a boy. And you're sure about that? Oh. Ernie got laid. Uh-huh. Er- Ernette. And that was based on... Say that one more time, sweetie. P-hole distance from the butt. If it's further away or something, then it's one or the other. Pee hole distance. 
He keeps coloring the grass blue, the ocean green, and then the sky red. And what's wrong with that? No, are you kidding? I love it. <laughs> this red sky. Oh. Yes. Huh? Mom? Mom? Why is that postcard pixelated? Oh. Oh, did you have puppies? Or kids? Kits? Word? What was that sound? No, ah, I couldn't keep my eyes I open know, long it enough. It seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex. That was really creepy. Unless it was just a dog outside. It merely just sounded like a dog wrestling. Are we still in the same gym? I guess we're going slower than I thought if we're going to the days of one month still. But just take it one day at a time. Trust me. Is it for Elise? Clavia Stuck. Beethoven. Okay. Two brackets on each side. He lost his legs! My God! On each screw. How dangerous was it to make this need. table? Chris said, "Find the zero," ah. and he just drew an arrow pointing to it. <laughs> That's pretty good. Ah. That's just l lateral thinking. They should reward that if they were a real school. That's a lot of trophies for some piano tro. Oh, but fuck piano. <laughs> I want that box full by the time I come in there. You don't play with it anymore. We're getting rid of it. Uh, Andy, no. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, new neighbors are moving in. She's throwing a tantrum. Doesn't want to go to the new home. Not accepting it. I think she's over it now. Hey you. Yeah, you. Come over here. Yes, Mr. Camera Boy. I'm talking to you. But I don't my WASD doesn't work. I'm at the mercy of my eyes and my mouse, and that's it. Why are we going to get married? Photos? You know, if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Your arm's off. Oh, God. Chloe. You okay? Oh, shoot. I think I got to go. Quiet, everyone. Betty's about to play for us. Oh, God. I don't want everyone... No, I hate this attention. Ooh. I don't think this is how pianos work. No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own. Yep. The class is world history. My name is Mr. Isaac. The class will be broken up in. Hey, you. Look on your desk. I wrote you something. We're in the same class. What a coincidence. Please keep in mind that we're over at school. We don't know each other. Do not talk to me ever. I want each of you to write Your word processor thinks you spelled that wrong. Lines, not stare off Stop into space. staring at me, creepy. I'll stare at you forever. Okay. Do not talk to me. It's what's. He sucks, apparently. Chloe. Look, I'm taking notes. What did the quote say? Um. Right. I definitely know this. Were taking notes, weren't you, Chloe? Oh yes, of course. Come on, dude, help me out. K 
Come on, Chloe. We're all waiting. I don't know how to help. I'm blinking at things, but nothing's happening. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. William Shakespeare. <laughs> what do you want from me? Blink, 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 blink. Can I put it on the notes that... Or her? Um... There we go. that people who are in the past always remember... I tried to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. I half suspect he bought it for himself. Consters? Is that what I'm reading? What am I reading? What does that say? The little guys are pretty cute, though. I will admit that. Oh, I want the job of whoever gets paid to think of that crap. You want to be the conster maker? Rated E for everyone. This is a video game, but it's so horrible. Oh, it's an old box game. I've definitely seen you next door, but like for the 64. Bagel bites. Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. Your dad just thank me for hanging out with you. <laughs> That's a very interesting detail. Oh, you're playing Pokemans. Oop. No more Pokemans. It's called a magnet school. It's about an hour away in a town called Burton. I know the change can be scary, but I just want you to go. Your in bright future is waiting. I spoke with. Normally, I would try to read all this. Incredible places. I will never make it. Really good at something. It's just you've had so much trouble making friends with Playco. I want you at a place where people. Re so what do you think, Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? Sir, I think I'm five, maybe. Sorry, he gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back close to- What an aggressive, horrifying pressure to put on a kid. God, I'm glad I never had to like sit in a fucking principal's office or whatever the fuck to prove my worth as a human being. How fucking degrading. And something that you're never prepared for at that age. That's beautiful. The scrolling windmills. This is oh my god! This is so much pressure. Fast runs in there, and a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no pressure. I just want you to try, and we can see if you start enjoying it. Just like to see you really rise to the occasion, just this once. I wish I had the option of going to a just school this like once? that when I was your age. I wouldn't be working this boring job or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. I don't get to be a kid, do I? What was that? Was that the piece? What is going on with you these days? I barely... He's not responding well. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Yeah, I don't need that pressure. Everything's ticking clocks and pressure and things that this kid has to go through and... He's still just, like, joining schools for, like, the first time. Like, how old am I? I've already got to be Don't well on the way it. to commodifying my your person. After you practice. You're not my mom, mom. You are you are my mom, mom, but shut up. No. I'm sure you want to have a childhood, but have you proved your worth in the marketplace yet? You need to have no oh hobbies God. for you. Everything needs to be monetized. Is she calling you again? What is she obsessed with you? You seem pretty obsessed with me. Me being who you wanted to be. A newbies in the presence of my art, who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, would weigh the deceased soul against a feather determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. And what if they are deemed unworthy? Well, you can see that ugly fur ball under the scale? That is Amamet, and she's got, and yes, that's a she, 
the hey, head of a crocodile, the fur it. of a lion, look at it, and the body of a hippopotamus. He clearly likes art so much face. more than now, like 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 see, this kind of art more so than ready to music. Any of the deceased who do not pass judgment. It's not after my dad goes to sleep, I'm gonna sneak out of so my house and go sleep on the beach. I'm gonna get invited. Draw me a picture of Mr. Isaac so feeling constipated. Sure I don't hear more frantic Love weird right neighborhood. Now. I'm not scribbling. I opened a note. Or I don't know. I don't know. I didn't. I wasn't listening. Honestly, I don't know what you said. <laughs> oh. Slightly worried about having him uh. just as he's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for him. Okay, well listen, I don't claim to understand the motives of children. Richard, Benny has a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean this is no offense at all. But I don't think you actually really understand what that is. Uh. Mom, you need to back the fuck off. My friend isn't just coming here to play the video game. It's important for me to have social bonds. Lights out. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust oh my me. My god, you are such a beauty pageant, mom. This is a problem. Mom says turn the lights off. Benny, mom says turn the lights off. Not mom says you say. I can hear you. You're not tricking anyone. Wow, didn't think you'd actually pick up. I'm a sticky for a baby. I apologize. Okay, so meet me out in the alley and. You know, I'm really glad you're here. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Or to get off my chest. Okay. I don't think Kongsters is actually a really good game. My cousin Yoon, he was in town this weekend, and he was explaining how it's actually a ripoff of a really good Japanese game. He calls it a cash grab. <laughs> Probably didn't sleep at all. Out in the cold all night. That breakdown. You're already feeling sick, aren't you? It's okay, you still got this. I mean, all the practice had to count for something. Maybe just try and close your eyes now and get a little sleep on the way over. I'm going to play the record. Mm. In your own time, Benjamin, we are very excited to hear. If I buckle under the pressure, she's, she's going to lose her shit. And they're probably going to get divorced at this rate. Oh, it's getting aggressive. Oh, Ooh. okay, okay. I think that's enough. Oh, it's impossible. So, my heartbeat. Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again, once you've had a bit more time to practice? Yes? As you know, Burton isn't the right fit for every Fuck student. you! I wish you the best of luck on your path. It's like that time Whatever I panicked during my driver's you, test. Okay? And just like suddenly right. made incredible mistakes that I never would have made Maybe during all the time I practiced. Maybe I turned into my own father. I don't know. You have to my... find something to focus on. Oh my god, you internalize all of my successes and failures as being your something. shit. It's not what this is. That's why we got you here. Home from school for a while. Just until this nasty thing clears. Hey L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh yes, of course. Did I have a panic attack? Right why back, am I in the okay. hospital? Just maybe five minutes. This is a crucial time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. You can find me to my room.
This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. I'll have you know you can make a living playing video games. <laughs> yeah? Hi, I'm Mr. Pot. You, you go fuck yourself. Okay, hi. Hi. Wow, that's actually really the shading and all that. Am I, fi am I actually getting to embrace what I like instead of the shit she told me to like? Oops, uh, that's awkward. I'm experimenting with framing. Don't worry about it. Leave me the f leave me alone, Dad. I like to draw things. Whoa, that's getting characterized and all that. And Mr. Benjamin Brin has been awarded first place. Even though she he couldn't make it fit on the paper. I mean, that was an artistic choice, yes. Definitely not me, like, tripping. Art school. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you are not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. And although I was hired to teach you, it is a sham. There is no teaching art. Ah, uh, why is it in the back? I didn't want that. Oh, that's a naked man. Enjoy that. Oh, how there you very go. wacky and fun these are. I'm so wacky and fun. I put those there because he's a snack, but then he'll be dead soon. Oh, hello. Whoa! You're losing your goddamn mind, aren't you? Oh, I didn't mean to leave it the way it was. That was an accident. Hey. Oh. He's experimenting with the art form, and he's becoming more abstract as representation of the things that he's looking at. This is stressful to try to place as I go, though. I did it. You fiend! <laughs> I want you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. I like him. He's kind of an idiot, but that's how art do. He has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. <sighs> My chromatics keep aberrating. That's not how eyes work. Oh, am I gonna get recognized for this? Oh my goodness. The ironic sincerity of this piece is so sincerely ironic. <laughs> yeah, I like the part where there's a naked guy in the middle of it. I, oh, hello. I know that lots of Asians gave you lots of cards, and it all probably feels weird and alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. So many versions. One thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. She's growing as a person, too. Benjamin! Marvelous show last week. Ah. Don't worry. You're not selling your soul. But now I want ramen. Can I have the ramen, please? I didn't get to have the ramen. Don't worry, you're not selling the show. But I would be... Fuck you! Look at that! You've crumpled my contract! Yep. <laughs> now uh, now your you art. Yeah. <laughs> to being a difficult artist. Yes, exactly. I will not succeed and everyone will resent me. And I will live a life of regret and then die. Here we go. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Stop blinking when I don't want to. Is that a... Is that Benjamin Brin? Oh my god. I think it is. Wrong places. Ah, no! That's not what I wanted. No! I don't have any control over myself as a person. Hey, Ben. Don't even pick up this call, okay? I mean it. I'm just calling to inform 
you that I went to the doctor today, and well, I'm, I'm gonna be a little sick for a while. Uh oh. But really, I I don't want you worrying about it at all. Oh, Benny, I told you not to pick up. There's nothing you can do for me right now. No. <laughs> but I'm, I'm falling apart. Me. Now. You'll hear from the person who I believe is the single thing in the world my wife is most proud of. Mm. Her. Mm. Come on, me. Say something. Welcome back to that performance. There's a chapter in the Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green where he talks about all the things he should have said to a dying friend, but because of the stress of the situation, and even despite the fact that he himself is an author that has expressed stories about dying people again and again, what he said was, I can't believe this is happening to you, you do so much yoga. Trapped in a rut of thinking her about her all the time, again and again. Hmm. Take whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> ah, I'm just so glad you got to speak to her one last time. I mean, I know she told you not to pick up the phone, <laughs> but. Well, I'm just so happy that you did. She just wanted you to focus on the first day of the rest of your life. It's like the call of the that saying is like the call of the fucking abyss. It's like looking over a ledge. And it's somehow it's supposed to be inspirational. Always with the red skies. channeling it. She is now considered to be one of the greatest composers of her time. Really you? It, it's Chloe, your neighbor. My god, I can't believe this. It's been years. I, I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down for that. I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. I should have guessed it. I mean, with all those little drawings. And your mom. I always heard her playing piano from next door, but I didn't know she wrote the actual music. 
She was a genius. Like mother, like son, I guess. Hey, so, not to be forward, but uh, what are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something? Oh no. Is this the right reason to be reconnecting? I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. My entire life has been commodified. Now would you look at that? When I was one year old? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. There's no there's no intentionality to that art. Hit the jackpot, flapjack. With all the nobody nothing's dying every day. You finally sink your hook into a Oh Well there you are. Well, hello, sir. If I realized I would have cleaned up. I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I'm I mean, finally sure fucking dead, scientists. and it's still just about what everyone Apologize wants from me. There, but... An internationally renowned painter? <laughs> the gatekeeper's gonna eat you up. Hey, speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you help me out with the word choice, since, you know, I'm still working on that. See if I'm getting all the strokes right. Proper composition, if you catch my drift. <laughs> nah, forget about it. All right, here we go. Gatekeeper, before you stands the soul of a great man. Now, would you describe yourself as a happy kid or a lonely one? His childhood was a lonely one, growing up as a strange, quiet child in an isolated seaside town. And, uh, what would you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? I was about to say I'm getting beginners guided to right now, but there's literally a lamppost behind him. I'm getting a beginner's guide right now. Mmm. His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. Now, how would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Kind of like your... Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was over-demanding, forcing him to practice day in and day out, hoping that he might one day achieve that greatness that she never could. And how about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? Was she your best friend or your first love? Now be honest here. But, on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his best friend. Stop putting lampposts in my games. Now, from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium. Right. See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick, and he had to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten, painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. Now be quiet, all of you. 
With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. They're on to you. Shut up, you, you scum goes, you mucky fellows. My story reduced to what's valuable to him. I feel like I'd be happier as a seagull. I get it! I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I had assumed as much anyway. I should probably tell you. Those things... They're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Yeah, good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Hopefully you won't be seeing him again. <laughs> You're a flea bit sap. You know that? Just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. Just talking about me to my face now? Is that what's going on here? I'm still going to another audition, huh? I'm still proving myself. No vacations. Now don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. But it's too late for that. We're in this together. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm going to ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time, I want the truth. The truth? We were actually starting over? He's doing a flash bulb every time I blinked. Do I have the power to lie here? Not this. Is this the landscape that I originally based that art on? Now play Kitty. The major chord I taught you. Oh, uh, when did you die? Shit, did I ever see you again after I heard those growls outside? Did he die to a dog or something? <clears throat> he was just gone one day. Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. Doesn't that make you feel happy? You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, only way to fight against- No! This. Stay here. What We're going back to these moments. Call? Fuck. Keep your eyes open. I need to see. What are we trying to face? God damn it. Let's try this again. I've got a condition, maybe. I don't know. It's hard.
Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. <gasps> oh! oh, I knew it. It's when it, it's when her dad died. She knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. So Let's she was obsessed going. with me accomplishing that thing? What did you just say? They're melting. This isn't a trip down memory lane. I need... Yes, I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. You're just scraping through me for what's useful to you. What was this? Hmm. Keep your eyes open. Hmm. That's blood, isn't it? And one more time. No. The death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. That simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work. To make yourself sensational. We kept all the kits outside? Stay here. That's what I was spelling in the sky. I'm not. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? Is a Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found her yet. You go. Oh yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny. Okay. Just maybe five minutes, kiddo. Okay. Oh. I thought he was going to tell me something. I swear to God, if you blink again... <sighs> Have you tried not blinking? Can you please try to speak a little softer? I really don't want him to hear us talking about this. What's the point? There's like a distant rumbling I can't understand. What's the point? What's the point? What do you... What do you mean? What's the point? What does that mean? What's the point of any of it? I have to keep my eyes closed. What's the point of any of it? If he's never gonna get any better. Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard... One of us saying something like that. I'd never forgive myself. I... It's okay. He's asleep. But... Oh, I am, I, am I neurodivergent? You got sick. You howled at the moon. At the top of your lungs. Oh, it's something terminal. You are so goddamn goofy, even though you're like the worst. You were sick for a long time, weren't you? 
Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? That was the through line. Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. The through line I was hiding We're from. Almost at the end of this. I promise. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. It's never not video game. Is that a weird box-shaped wolf with boxing gloves? What the fuck is that background it? image? I'm trying to make that out right now. It looks like a wolf that's squished into a cube shape and he's got little boxing gloves and stupid little legs. Is that the conch stars or whatever it was called? What? Writing. What do I do with my hand? Oh. I'm actually using my hand, well, too. hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. Do I not speak? Like, canonically? <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. My great life. I'm a child. Have I never spoken? Or did I lose my voice to the sickness? I'm just rewriting the same shit that the wolf was telling about me. Another wolf that just lives on stories. That's not even the first time I've played a game like that. What is this connection? Where the... The, pl the place... Where the wine shit... What was the name of that game? Something with wine in it. It had a wolf played by Sting, and it collected stories, and I, compl I compared it a lot to Death Stranding because of the weird coincidences of elements of it. That game was really odd. His mother was a composer who was demanding, yep. Man, this is wild. You really got into this, didn't you? Oh, here I am. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his best friend and blowing it the next day. <laughs> best friend? Okay, Benny. And you know, we really could have just slept on the beach another night, but I'm also glad we didn't because, well, another night wouldn't be the same night, if that makes sense. She said before that my friend only came by to play video games. You are going to be in there for about 30 minutes, so try to get comfortable. She was my only friend that would visit me while I was dying of an illness. And my You're mom was great, like, buddy. she just wants video games. Not it's back. Just kind of horrifying. You're gonna be so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading loud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know. I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? Oh god, you that wouldn't go well. Anything you do. Mm. You're in it. That's not a good time. Go in there and tell me you loved it. I'm sorry, I just can't. I just She's not taking it well. Okay. Don't worry. Just go to bed. I'll talk to you. Hey B. Just want you to know that mom loved your story. She's just, you know, I think it was just very emotional for her to read. But I, I thought it was great. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing up a strange and quiet child in an isolated seaside town. I mean, I mean I'm certainly bummed you feel that way. But what I want to know is, you learn to write so well? All those cool words! Reads like Dickens! <laughs> really just very cool stuff, kiddo. You should be very proud, okay? Okay. Love you, buddy. Does the wolf not even exist? 
Is he just my story? Oh. I mean, you don't have to go full Inio Asano with the self-loathing. That's definitely not true. There's probably a Brin that was like a serial killer or like Hitler Jr. or something. Maybe that was Hitler's real name. No. Is that my dragon? Just banishing the world around me until it takes me. seizure or pain I was being wheeled through a hospital just now I think I'm just alone with my disease so if he's ever in pain so if he's ever in pain all he needs to do is press that red button and the drug will administer itself thank you so much you know I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself no I understand it hits mothers the hardest this sort of thing Thank you for understanding. It's been, uh, it's been a rough one. Did it dull the sound? It dulled that much. Did I ever become an artist? Oh God. The daily pills. This took a turn I wasn't ready for. You close your eyes and you shut out the senses and you hear what they don't want you to hear. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. Yeah, no, that's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. Yes, I understand you have a business to run. It's a very <laughs> cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. Okay, well, well, then I guess all I can say is screw you too. I said, screw you too. Yeah, man, that's all I got. Hate to break it to you, buddy, but capitalists are proud of their cliches. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I happen to actually know about this stuff. So the fact that you are faking just so you don't have to go to school with me is actually ridiculous. Uh, I remember when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. It never goes away. I said, well, did go away, kind of. Yeah, her music had been rejected, and she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here, and I feared that, you know, I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano, and it's your little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. No. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. You guys were on your way to a divorce already. 
my miraculous little thing is the only reason you're still together? Holding your eyes closed. Well, then it turned into an obsession that kind of ruined my life. Even more machines. Was the entire art career just a lie? Full of made up characters where none of that happened at all? What? You're still alive? Oh, you're so old. It was only your kittens that were lost. Oh. This cat's gonna outlive me, aren't they? Oh, it's okay. I'm just so happy she's here. We've gotta show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. How long has it been? Oh, her poor fur. Richard, we have to give Ernie a haircut, okay? Getting her a sashimi plate. What? What? I think she more than deserves it. Give that cat sashimi. Oh. Was that a tell? When they showed the goddamn... Uh... The children's painting. Was that just... The idea that that was in a museum, was it because that was all a tell, that that was a completely made-up timeline? A rejection of what happened? 29 missed calls. This is why we never- why we lost contact. It's too loud. She hasn't been over. Like, she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No. No? But what does that have to do with... Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey. She's dealing with her own shit and she thinks I abandoned her. I'm assuming she's reacting to the fact that I didn't tell her about any of this. No. Oh. Do you realize this is really nothing special to me? I've seen this all before. I, um... I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day. And how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that. But... Hey, what are you looking at? Don't look up there. Look at me. I'm talking to you. I want to give you something, but I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. Close your eyes now, okay? No, 
it's getting harder to look around. I'm slowing down. I can't eat or take my pills or open it. This is it. Everything that there was, was imagined. It seemed like an inf like an a childish interpretation of art stuff because it was all just a fictional imagining of a different ending. What is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again? Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. What do you like about it? Ah, uh, not this old trap. Go on. I'm waiting. Well, it made me feel like... Like... Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed. You know, when I mentioned John Green, I wasn't expecting to summon child cancer into the game. But I guess here we are. The pain is so loud, I can't experience things around it. to her you know for a while now I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller if I just don't have grand enough words can't tell grand enough stories do you even exist but grand words and stories I think they may be overrated Ugh. I know just what to tell her it's a rude thing to do in a book. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. I should go get ready. Don't worry. We got this. I think. Did that just wilt in front of- yes. It's when I blink, or when it thinks I'm blinking sometimes. And the next ones grow. This game is one hell of an idea. Like always, dependent on some technology that might not always work this intended, but... Uh. I'm ultimately to be judged by a cat. Wish me luck. Gatekeeper, before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. That means she's ready to hear your story. I just realized the connection. Oh, where the water tastes like wine was the game. Same eye motif, too. You know, I never told you how much I loved your story. It's really so imaginative. And the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy. My only issue was, well, I didn't like him very much. So... I wanted to read you something I wrote for you. Oh. Which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now. Because the story was about the painter. The Great Life of Benjamin Brin. 
Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home to an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live, which only made him forget the great life he already had, how he had filled a new home with light and joy and promise, how he met a girl, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world and made her feel okay again, and how, even when he was sick, he still gave his parents hope. How he reminded them exactly who they were after they had almost forgotten. So when he knew he was going to go, he was okay. Because he'd already lived a great life, a full life. And he was everything he needed to be, just as he was. It's touching, but it's way too young to be like, that's a full life. Good job. Close your eyes now and keep them closed. <laughs> She's gonna let you in. If I look back, do I become that one legend? Why is he smiling like that? He must be somewhere that he likes. Man. Well, that one was a trip. I didn't fully know what I was getting myself into today. But then the blinking started.
That was an intense experience. There was definitely like a tell when we got to the dumber and dumber paintings earlier in my life that were for some reason still in the pe in the exhibit. Things were going too well. And so we were rewinded backwards and found out that that was just a story I was telling myself about a different life that I never had that I imagined while I was stuck in a room forever dying at an astonishingly young age and the initial fear established mechanically by having the fast forwarding through your life keep happening controlled by your blinks like a reflex that's very very hard to control by the end I started kind of developing like a weird eyelid bottom eyelid sort of like clenching thing I can do to like stop the blinking from happening but like for the most part you can't control it and you can't stop it and it keeps going and because you can't stop blinking you keep losing it the same way that you just feel your life kind of passing you by and you look back on the passage of time and just realize you can't do anything about it and it keeps going further all the time Something that was only amplified by the fact that the uh, we then find out that we had a terminal illness, and so our life was very literally and directly escaping us against our will, out of our control. That's a brutal time. And they had the right idea too. Those those two dark those two dark scenes that we skip that it lets us leave skip past immediately with no context. It makes sense because those two dark scenes were moments that you didn't want to acknowledge. They're two different scenes that you didn't want to uh, actually relive. So it lets you skip them without any con any real context. But even though you you skip it immediately, that little that dark scene with the phone and. Whatever those sounds are you're hearing outside. They persisted. They were memorable even though I didn't get to see them. That's some good stuff there. If you want to support the creators or share it around in general, there's a link to the game in the description. I'll see you guys next time.